Hi, hi everyone, it's Celeste, and thank you for coming to my channel. I was really gone in October, and here's the reason why. I took a very fun family trip to Poland! Yeah! Poland is a very nice and interesting country with a, interestingly enough, language. I definitely didn't study enough of that language when I went. So really, it's such a different language. So it's like to say hello is Jin dobre. And I'm just like, what did she say to me? And then my husband's like, she said hello. I'm like, oh. my hi, hi. <laughs> so I, it went. So I went to Poland with my husband and my sister. And as you can see, I got my hair done there, but that wasn't the point of the trip. This was just something extra. And the point of that trip was because I had surgery. And no, it wasn't life-threatening surgery. I actually got breast augmentation surgery. It's only been a month since I've had this surgery, and I definitely, there are many perks for getting this surgery. And let me list the reasons why I did them. And the reasons why I got these done are mine alone. I didn't take these from anyone else. Yes, I did watch other videos and ultimately it did help me decide what type to get, what I should expect. But anyone who is thinking about getting them, anyone who has been pondering or questioning why or trying to convince someone to get it, here are my reasons. Reason number one. Reason number one is I wanted to be happier with my body. In this day and age, we have the advancements of science and medicines so that we can alter our body to make us happier. Like if people wanted to be taller, they can literally become taller. Or if people wanted to be skinnier, you know, liposuction is a type of surgery and people can do that as well. So it's just like, well, why don't I take advantage of modern technology and change myself for the better? And this is mainly for myself and it makes me a lot happier. So yes, I wanted this for myself. I wanted it for my body and it makes me feel amazing. Like I feel real nice right now. Like So reason number two. Reason number two is so I can fit clothes better. There are so many clothes out there that I wish I had bigger boobs at the time so I could buy it and it would fit better. And I'm just, it made me really disappointed to leave a store without like said item. And I'm just like, yes, it does help me save money. But ultimately there were so many people behind this one garment that gives them the job. So if a clothing company goes out of business, so many people lose their job. And let me explain this slightly. So you have to have someone who conceptualizes this garment. You need to have people who get the fabric for this garment. You need suppliers for the type of notions and materials. And you need people to assemble this garment. And that could take like maybe three people, four people. You don't know. A pair of jeans goes through like 10 people's hands. So just for safety's sake, let's just say two different people have to assemble this garment. The merchandising people, you need handling and shipping and then receiving and then the store clerks. That is 10 different jobs if we don't consume and buy things. I am not an advocate for people buying clothes. That's you. If you want to go buy clothes, that's on you. I mean, I love buying clothes. I love making my own clothes. But now that I have a bunch of small clothes made for tiny tits, tiny tits has to figure out a way to make it for big tits. So expect a lot of new kind of DIYs geared towards larger set women. Um, men do be on hold. I'm sorry it's taking a little bit of time, but it's hard when your husband's never home. Anyways, time for reason number three. Reason number three is... I'm kind of embarrassed to say it, but it's just kind of like that intimacy part that you have with a spouse. And it's not the fact that we don't have great intimacy either, it's to enhance it. And a bonus! Number four is for cosplay. When dressing up as these fictional characters, it is hard to replicate the giant booby bouncy effect. And honestly, it's not for me to get these for cosplay. These were always for me, myself, and make me happy. It wasn't for me to make better costumes, 
It wasn't for me to look more like the character. It was always about, hey, does this dress look good on you now? Or, hey, do you feel like a woman today? And it's not to say that women with smaller breasts don't feel like women. Everyone's different. And I had a lot of problems with my self-image growing up. So now I finally get these. I feel like all of it's gone. I have the perfect shape and figure that I've always wanted. And I don't, I don't have to worry about dresses not fitting correctly anymore or having problems with everything else. If you want more things of what to expect when you get breast augmentation, I can make a follow-up video. And if you enjoyed this quick little vlog of why I went to Poland, leave me a like and then subscribe if you haven't already because you know you want to keep up with what I do. Always remember, Stay inspired and be creative, and I will see you in another video. Bye!